Okay, the next thing I'm going to do is create a model view, and that's up here still in my PMI tab. A model view is a defined set of display criteria as well as orientation data that you can kind of hop back and forth to in the 3D environment. It's kind of a handy thing to have. Um, notice up here under uh, in my tree I've got my section view which I can toggle on and off. I'm going to leave that on and I'm just going to jump to a front view here and then I'm going to create a new model view and I'll call this um, QA view 1 let's say and hit OK. Now you'll see that under PMI that's going to appear in my tree under model views. So as I go and maybe I, I turn this off and I, I, I'm, I'm working here, I've turned off some of my dimensions and I continue to work, at any point I can right click on that view and hit apply view and it'll bring that all back for me. So it's kind of a handy thing to have in the 3D environment. What's nice about this too is that we can use it in the 2D environment as well. So I'm going to go and create a new drawing and if I go down here to create drawing that will create a drawing from the part that's currently open and when I do that I'm gonna make sure that I'm running my drawing view creation wizard because in that wizard I can select a PMI model view and in this case there's my QA view that I created now I can include the PMI dimensions which as you recall were those um, coordinate dimensions we kind of migrated in and I can also include the annotations in this case I don't want to use coordinate dimensions for my QA drawing I want to use a set of measurements from another point so I will uncheck the dimensions but I do want to include those annotations because I want those datum points to show up and I'll hit finish so when I place that view let's take a look at what we have we've got a nice cross section and you can see those datum points showing up there what I might do is I might just click on this drawing view go into the properties and just clear the fill style so we can have a little clearer uh, view without that hatch so there's those views now what I can do is I can start placing dimensions so maybe what I'll do is start from this point and then you see that I can pick up on those datum points and drop my dimensions in So now my guys on the QA floor have a point to measure from and know what they're looking for when they make measurements. Maybe the last thing I'll do, uh, this drawing view is a little wide and I could have added another section view back in the 3D environment, but in this case I'll just add some break lines in here. So maybe we'll drop a break line here and bring the other one all the way up. Before I do that I'm just going to change my break line type. I can put straight or cylindrical. I'll pick cylindrical and just drag this one out here and hit finish. So I've just kind of narrowed down my drawing view a little bit. At any point I can click on that and just toggle on or off the broken view that I created.